hello guys and welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to level trim and crumb coat your cake using your kitchen grater yes you heard me right <laughs> your kitchen grater this tutorial is ideal for people or for beginners who still find it very difficult to trim with their serrated knife so if this sounds like what you're interested in just keep on watching but before we get right into the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you still waiting for please click on that subscribe button now and like share and give this video a thumbs up So the first thing to do is to trim the top or the dome on your cake layers and we'll do that with um, our serrated knife. Make sure your starting point is from the lowest part of your cake. What I'm doing here is to um, hold the knife flat and straight on the cake, keep my hand steady and leveled and turn my cake around with the aid of my turntable. I'll just keep turning in while keeping my knife in the same position and Keep going round and whatever excess there will come off by itself. Sometimes you will be tempted to saw or to move your knife around. I will advise not to do that because you would most times end up with one side of your cake lower than the other side and also chopping a great part. This process is very vital because if you want to achieve a very straight and leveled cake, you need to go through the process of leveling and trimming your cake before you decorate. So that is it. I have trimmed the top of my cake and I went ahead to flip the bottom to also um, a level or not leveling the, because the bottom is leveled so but I like removing or shaving off the caramelized part so um, I'll go ahead to do that and I want to actually use this opportunity to thank all my subscribers thank you so much and if you yet to subscribe please do that now click on the subscribe button to enable you get notifications once I upload a video and here we are a very leveled cake and I'll go ahead to do the rest of the layers of the camera and we'll be right back now we are going to stack the trimmed layers and I'll be using um, buttercream for my filling in between the layers you can use any fillings of your choice like um, some people use jam some people use chocolate so whatever filling you want to use is perfect and I'll repeat the process of um, positioning the layers, adding my fillings till I am done with um, stacking all the, all the layers. So here is my chocolate cake. I would advise anytime you're stacking different varieties of cake, make sure you begin with the ones that have um, that are heavier in weight like the fruit cake or the vanilla cake before stacking the lighter ones like the red velvet cake or the chocolate cake because if you stack the heavier ones on top it will press the lighter ones below making your cake to collapse with time so we are done stacking the layers the next stage will be to trim the size of the cake this is where most beginners find difficult to do because you need several practice before you can use a serrated knife. But today we'll be using our kitchen grater and this is very easy, anyone can do this. All you need to do is just to shave your cake. Yes, you had me. Shave your cake. <laughs> I make sure I go through this process whenever I am making a fondant cake because if you don't level or trim um, the size of your cake very well before covering, the top of your cake will not be leveled and the spaces in between the layers may show and um, you will have dents and bulges after covering and at times. If you go to some weddings, you'll see some of the wedding cake tilting to one side. Um, so make sure you trim and level properly if you are doing a fondant cake. But for my buttercream cakes, I don't usually trim off the dome because you can get away with whatever you do um, when you're making a buttercream cake. So what I do is to stack my layers, then flip the last, the last layer I'm going to put on top. I'll flip it upside down to have a leveled um, top, then fill up the spaces in between the layers. Um, with buttercream and I am good to go. You won't even notice uh, or know that it's not really trimmed. Anyways, I'll still make a video on that so you can understand better. So all I'm doing here is to shave, 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 shave till I am satisfied. I'll go ahead to remove the cake crumbs, clean the surface and 
I'll use another cake bird to flip the cake upside down so that I can shave the bottom side because the grater didn't really get to that side. As you can see, the bottom is now at the top, so I'll go ahead to repeat the same process of shaving till all the parts are shaved and well leveled. I would say that this method is ideal for cakes that are more sturdier and um, heavier in texture like the vanilla cake or the fruit cake because I use this on my um, of my sponge cake and it was just pulling out chunks of cake and of course the cake was very soft so I'll say that this is just perfect for cakes that are heavier in texture as you can see the cake is already having a sharp edge this is just like a foundation of a building so having a good and well trimmed level crumb coated cake gives you a flawless finish i used this cake um i decorated this cake as a pot of fried rice cake for my mother-in-law's birthday if you haven't watched that video please the link will be attached in the description box so do check it out after watching this and now i am done with um shaving this part you can choose to use this part as a top but i will flip it again to give it um the final um touch so let me know in the comment section what you do with your cake crumbs um for me i use it for cake pops and um, now we are done with um shaving all the sides and I'll use a plum to check if it is leveled. As you can see, the bubble in the plum is um, angled to one side, um, showing that my cake is not leveled. So I'll go ahead to shave the the higher parts. You can get this uh, uh, plum in any cake shop or in any building material shop. But if you don't have a plum, you can use a tape to um, measure the size of your cake. And remember that the plum takes reading from the ground, so make sure your cake is sitting on a level table because if your table is not leveled, you'll think your cake is not level, not knowing that it's from the table. As you can see, the bubble in the plum is in the center, meaning that my cake is not leveled. So let's go ahead to go to the final stage, which is the crumb coating stage. I'll be using my buttercream to crumb coat and you can see how smooth it is. So let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a video on how to make this smooth buttercream. And I used my palette knife to apply the buttercream. The consistency of my buttercream is not too thick or too light, it is just too perfect. After applying my buttercream, I'll use my bench scraper to go around to achieve a smooth finish. I am holding um, the bench scraper a little angled and I keep going around until it is all smooth and as I go around, I take off the excess curse. I don't need much buttercream when I'm covering with fondant. I'll go ahead to go around one more time and I'll level the top. You can choose to level your top using your palette knife. I'll go around the cake one more time and we are good to go. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye.